was when Amber was here, and Amber got up and she talked about singing. And she said, it's not her. Well, I'll tell you what, I carry discs around in my bag. And God's been dealing with me to get up and sing. And Sandy asked me to come up come and sit there. And I sit there. Come on, Kelly. And like God spoke, he said, move. No, and I move. Yes, and I don't care what That's anybody right. thinks about me. I love the Lord. And I trust him. I tell you what, I trust him. When I got that phone call about my grandbaby, the first thing that came to my mind was to call upon people that could pray. All I knew was that I heard the only message we got was that his hand and his thumb was gone. And all I could think of was he's so small and he's got a life ahead of him. And so the first person I called, I called Brother Marlo. And then as soon as I got done there, I called my mother-in-law. I know people that can pray. And God teaches us to pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. And I put my trust in him. And I'm going to tell you what. You put your trust there because I tell you what, I drove from Manatee Avenue clear to my sons and I was flying. And I'm like, Lord, please don't let me get pulled over. That's all I can do is don't let me get pulled over. Don't let me be in an accident. Let me get there safe and let this baby be okay. And you know what? His thumb was there. His hand, it, he's going to heal. You know, he had to, he's got broken bones, and they had to put everything back together. But the doctors told us if it would have been us, we wouldn't have used our hand. We wouldn't have used our hand again. But you know what? I trust a mighty God. I trust him. I ask the Lord. I just said, please keep your hand upon me. And the Holy Ghost, and we just started getting to see him again. It's been over a year since we had seen him. Amen. And then to find out that something so horrible could happen to him. Not, but I thank God that he didn't get his face. He didn't hurt him any worse than he was. But you know what? You keep your trust in the Lord. You just keep your trust in the Lord. There's been times that I've walked away and I promised him, Lord, I will never, ever, ever leave again. I promise. And I promise. I make that promise in front of you guys. If you ever see me and I'm not here for a couple weeks, you call me. You find out what's going on with me. Because I don't ever, ever. Ever, ever, I want to be able to cover and get the Lord again. I love you with all my heart. And I love each and every one of you here. And I just ask for your continual prayer for me and my 